Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. It's a wheel day, in case it isn't obvious. Since we've, you know, done all the egos this week, we did the randomizer. We did wheel yesterday, but let's do it again today. Give it a give it a spin, and let's see what we get. Fragile. Alright. This is an interesting one. A uh, team that's all around the fragile, like the the, the fragile units. Okay, give me a minute to go through everything and set up the team. Alright, I've set up what's probably like a, a good enough team for this. I of course have like, you know, the units of Fragile. There's only like seven IDs that have Fragile, but you know, some of them are repeats. So, you know, we've got Yi Song, he inflicts one Fragile if the target is below zero SP on a skill three. Um, Dawn inflicts two with her skill two. Heathcliff, of course, inflicts four with his skill three. Ishmael inflicts five with her skill three. And... Rodun inflicts one with her skill three if she gets a crit. On Zvi Rodun, of all things. You will also notice I've chosen some strange options. Um, we got Leo Gregor here. He's just here to fuel some egos. He's just chilling. Um, because I want to try... Because this is an ego I really don't use, like, far enough. Forest for the Flames inflicts true fragile next turn. So I was like, yeah, let's just throw on Leo Gregor. Let, let's, let's fund it a little bit. Of course... Seven, uh, Ryoshu does have, you know, Slash Fragility of her own. She's got, also has, you know, Red Eyes Close, which is also Slash Fragility. So it'll work out well enough, I think. We'll go bottom path, sure. As far as our team goes, um... I mean... Probably something like this to start out with. So we're not running, you know, all, like, the... Fragile people need it, but that's because Gregor is only here to build up our ego resources after all. Because we need to make sure we've got a decent amount of wrath and lust if we're going to want to spam, uh... Force of Flames. Immediate Suppress, get that get the Rupture on- or get that Fragile on this guy. Yeah, five Fragile, very nice. You were actually the fastest person on the team for once, which would have been really good in, like, any other situation, but unfortunately... Um, no one else was attacking that guy, because it's a 5v5 turn one. Of course, it still is a 5v5, since we didn't kill anyone. I guess it's a 6v6, technically, based on how the skill slots work, but... Dawn got a Tails on the final hit there, so she didn't get to inflict her fragility. Bad. Oh, yeah, you can go for that. Can you? I mean, you could. Or we could focus on building up more wrath, which is also like a good idea, I think. That's what Leo Gregor's here for, might as well let him have it. Maybe I'll get a little bit of a gunshot off with Heathcliff. Worked out. Oh yeah, you get this special contract, because this one also inflicts fragile next turn. I think it's the only ego gift that inflicts I may be wrong, but I feel like it is the only one that inflicts fragile. I didn't check. I just, I just knew that it was fragile, so I would just went straight for it. And there's the two fragile on that guy. Once again, not that it'll matter, but still cool. Yep, lust. Seems like lust is our big, is our, is our big weakness right now. Unfortunate. I think I think the skill two from Gregor is our only last skill. Maybe I should have gone for a different Ryoshu identity, especially if I'm gonna go for Forest of Flame. Could have ran like. I mean, what really would have been funny, I guess, is if I ran LCCB Ryoshu. She doesn't have any like fragile shenanigans, but she sure does have a bunch of stupid status effects on crit with her skill three. Oh, Tremor. This is actually interesting. Hmm. Is it? Yeah, it is, cause, because you can try to burst with Ishmael skill 3. That's why it's interesting. I was like, I, I definitely knew there was a reason why I thought it was interesting. But I couldn't, like, figure it out for a minute there. Yeah. More casino fouls. Thanks for, uh... We're gonna be getting the, uh, Peckwad enemies today. Those are gonna be cool. We're gonna have to see just how good they are. Really excited for the Heathcliff one, of course. 
And Star Sang looks really cool. Once again, he's competing with Blade Lineage, so... It's an unfortunate spot for Star Sang, but it's gonna be a fun identity, so... And I really think that's what matters, after all. Nice. Cut in half. And it's just you left, okay. Finish you off with a barrage of wrath attacks, and by that I mean just one, because you're not going to survive a single point stab. Good job. Okay. And I think the big goal of this team is we really want to be able to, like, get to like the floor 4, floor 5 boss and just set up against it. That's the dream. How exactly we'll go about doing that, hard to say. Like if we can get more skill 3s for like Ishmael and Heathcliff and stuff like that, that would be really good. You didn't play a 7 fragile on that guy. I guess 2 of it was next turn fragile and 5 of it was this turn fragile and he was dead anyways so it didn't really make the difference. But... Oh, cool. Very nice, it's just you left. I'll make sure we get a single point stab and we'll just have you go for a couple attacks too. Some single point stab will get used, he'll still be alive though, so he finishes the job. Nice, there we go. Alright. Healing, healing, damage. I mean, we're gonna want damage, especially if we're playing around fragile. We want to be able to do stupid amounts of damage. We want to one turn, like, the floor five boss. I think that's gonna be, like, the ultimate goal. And it's definitely doable. It kind of depends on which one it is. Your poise is actually... Your, I mean, not your poise. Your um, fragility is much better, because sure, it's only single fragility and it requires the target's SP to be below zero, but that's decently likely. Well, this, you, I'll inflict one fragile if you get a crit. If we can get, like, Nebulizer, or... I mean, even though Nebulizer is only, like, four. If we can get, like, Endorphin Kit, I think then Rodion might be able to do something. Like, she does not have nearly enough, uh... She doesn't have nearly enough poise to really be able to get a reason- reasonably get a crit in any situation. Unless we get several crit eagle gifts. You know, chances are we'll be able to get it off, like, at least once, though. I guess that's the goal. That's good. Yeah, this guy's below zero sanity. You can go inflict one fragile. Nice. Okay, now you can now you can make the most of that fragile and kill that guy. How 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 perfect? How perfect? Nice, more wrath. Yeah, loss is definitely an issue. That's all right. If we if we get you know, Gregor in a shop, we can just kind of increase his skill two count. We really don't want Gregor to be in the shops because he didn't have fragile. He's just kind of long for the ride. I'll probably, if I can remember, I'll remove him like a late boss or something. Ryoshu skill. I mean, more of your skill three is good, but I kind of wanted to save it for future stuff because your skill three isn't like that for important for this run. That's just the slash damage up or slash fragility. I mean, next turn. Which is cool, don't get me wrong. But you're gonna be on ego duty. Yeah, okay. Made my decision. All I, I guess your ego's fragility is this turn, though, but so is the slash fragility from your skill 3. You're not gonna help too much if the whole idea is to kill in a single turn. Which is unfortunate. Okay, nice. You sun gaming. 
Target SP unfortunately is not below zero. I wish it was like zero or below, then it would be at least slightly better. I don't think it really makes that big of a difference though. It's not good either way, it's just a 10% damage increase. And we got a couple fragility skills going on this turn. We, you know, we've got the leap, we've got the quick suppression, we've got the normal suppression. Oh yeah, kill this guy. They almost stagger, that's good. Oh yeah, swash kills, definitely. Good stuff. And then, yeah, suppress the 15 HP guy. You're still slightly alive. And you're still decently alive. Alright, you know what that means. We need, to, we need to undo their survival. Yeah, he gets really good at undoing one's survival. <laughs> and a little more rapid process too, nice. Okay, now we fight the boss. What was the boss? Okay, it's either Apple or Calendar. Could be good for fragility shenanigans. We'll have to see. Okay. Well, turn one here, we save our funny attacks. That's, that's the play, I think. It's a decent enough play. Oh, I didn't mean to leap. I thought I hit her skill one. That's unfortunate. Weep sure doesn't look fragile. Maybe she'll draw another one, though. That's the thing. She does have two in her deck. And it does, does mean that she's actually going to guaranteed kill this guy, but, you know, single point stab already did enough damage. I don't think your skill one would have killed this clay doll, though, so maybe it was for the best moment for the leap. You also do gain some charge count. Not that I plan on rib spacing with you anytime too soon. Although you don't have a leap anywhere in sight, so maybe we should. Hello. This turn, we're just going to keep on doing doing this the same, basically. We just want to weaken you. Okay, right arm staggered. Nice. Good job. Left arm's almost staggered. Okay, left arm down. And now we take some hits. That's fine. Like, if we if we end up needing to sacrifice someone... Oh, we did enough damage this turn. That's good. Now this is the part where we kill you. Unfortunately, Rift Space is going before quick suppression. Hate to see and suppress is going final thing in the turn. Definitely hate to see it. Okay, we'll do something like this. So absolute resonance of envy with, our, with you know, these two skills is a little bit silly. I wish, I wish you were a little faster, but thumbs the brakes. You get your slash for Julie next turn. It's only three because we didn't clash, but you know, we, we couldn't clash in these circumstances. Did you not have enough charge? I guess you didn't have enough charge, huh? That makes that makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, well, you got four for agility. We're hitting you with the end stop stab. Fucking some minor amounts of sinking. And rush down kills. Okay. Didn't even need the normal suppression. <laughs> I'm calling it normal suppression because I just want to distinguish it from quick suppression some way. Because they're both skill 3s that inflict fragile and are like pretty good. Oh, there's an endorphin kit. Alright, we'll take it. I'll make Rodeon decent at least. Definitely making me consider, you know, like, potentially replacing Ryoshu with LCCB. That could be funny, but I don't think it matters too much as the thing. Yeah. Over. Yeah, this suppress kills this guy, nice. And there's still a couple of you left, but we should be able to deal with you fairly easily. It's on you, so this should theoretically go before this. 
You'd really think that, wouldn't you? Who knows, though? I think I think it's a little weird when it comes to certain, like, flashes. Like, it'll kind of let the skill 3 either go for the skill 2 because the skill 3 has a full-on animation. Okay, yeah, just rip space this guy, do some damage. You inflate some fragile and then rip space to, you know, boost your damage a little bit. Didn't boost it, like, the most, of course. Wash field here, though, yeah. So it's just you left, and we can double quick suppression you. There's no way you can theoretically live that, unfortunately. Oh, you're trying to. Oh, stop there, please, against our rabbit. This guy's. This guy's a little hopeless, I think. Bros, 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 trying to politely ask the rabbit to stop brutally slaughtering him. Good luck with that. Okay, sloth power up with from kills. Sure. Okay, Yi Song can get another skill three. Four leaf clover is good for the poise choke. I really think we need to not focus on the poise choke though. We'll, we'll press on. We need to focus on changing skill decks. That's how we build around the fragile as much as possible. I believe. Um. Okay. Unfortunately, in jam also does no fragile against abnos or just normal enemies without sanity. That, that's definitely a little bit of a big drawback. That's why it would be cool if they're zero or lower. Because I'm pretty sure Abnos and stuff that treats them as if they have zero sanity always. I don't know for sure. Could be though. Very well could be. God. What a strange set of gimmicks for these guys. Like, the random buffs they gain, things to ran. Like... Because none of them are good, that's kind of like the funniest part about it. Like, gain 2 haste, that's like a decent one, I guess, theoretically. Speed really doesn't matter that much in normal fights, though. It really matters, you know, for redirection and, like, focus encounters. And then, like, one of them is just two poise, or like, it's like, it gives four poise potency, but no four poise counter, something like that? Like, yeah, you're, you're really doing a lot with that. And, the, and then the third and final one just makes it so they all target the same person. Like, once again, it really doesn't matter in normal encounter. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it can, don't get me wrong, but only if they have more than you do. And there's only a max of, like, four bots at a time. Unless you've lost a decent amount of your team, like, a decent amount of your team. Probably shouldn't matter too much. At least you really think. Okay, quick suppression this bug. He resists it. Cool thinks you can resist quick suppression. <laughs> no luck for you. You also cannot resist perfected palm strike. Especially since you're actually weak to it. You don't even resist in the first place. More wrath. We can go for the little bit of slothing. And we should just deal the win, yeah. Yep, press kills here. And. And jam kills here. There we go. Good stuff. Now onto the boss of this floor, right? Yes. Blunt weak fight, it's either Muriel or Guido. I feel like I've been getting Guido frequently recently. I mean, not particularly. There's only four options on this floor. I feel like I'm always getting the blunt ones as of late. It's been a while since I've seen you and Nico or a Pierce weak Muriel. Okay, we can leap you. Fortunately, you're not being targeted by someone who's, you know, good to give fragile. If we really want to give a lot of fragile, we can grow teleport. Get five fragile to all allies, yeah. That seems pretty good, I don't know about you. Yeah, you're, you're, you're struggling a little bit, we can suddenly one day with you. That'll do decently, and inflict some random status effects. Fragile isn't one of them, believe it or not. 
You know, still good. Turn your arm into a big, weird, fleshy mound. Like various colored fingers and like the Runa floor symbols on it. A lot's a, a lot still going on there. I mean, Herman's also like the primary antagonist right now, so you know. We're definitely gonna learn more about what's going on with his arm. You can't win this, Isang. There we go. He finally gave up. Shh. I really should have paid more attention to what I was doing this turn. I think I was just on autopilot, so I, no I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention to what I was doing. I think, was that the fourth stagger on Gregor? Yeah, it was. That's a little unfortunate. Definitely should have used, like, an eagle or something. Should have just suddenly one day it again. I guess suddenly one day is using my lost resources, so maybe I shouldn't do it, given how, you know, precious those are right now. You're struggling to defend, then. Rip space this guy? Sure. Why not? Should stagger him, I'd assume. No way he can take this and be perfectly fine. Oh yeah, especially because he's neutral, so she didn't even resist it, unlike the other N Corp guys. Okay. He's still slightly alive. You're hitting Yi Song. Finding him, that's fine. And we killed Gita, okay. Now it's just everyone on, on this one guy. We want you dead. That's right, dead. You're not living this. No, no, no chance. None at all. Which really isn't a surprise. There we go, victory. All seems good. All swell the dead swell. Yeah, more points. Sure thing. Should have taken Clover, I suppose. Oh well. Shouldn't make too big of a difference. You're being added to the team now, so if you know crit with the third coin your skill three, we're gonna be in business. You didn't even gain that much poise, do you? One poise, one poise, one poise, one poise, effectively. I know some of those are two boys count, but that's still only one boys, because we're we're basing how much poise she gains thanks to the benefits of Endorphin Kit. But not a lot. I can jam nice. This guy has zero sanity though, so it's not doing much. Okay. You didn't get the crit there, unfortunately. If you did, you would have inflicted one fragile next turn, though. Could, could, could have been a big deal, I'm sure. And one left, okay. Enjoy your attacks, buddy. And stop stab, you are weak to Pierce, so in that stop stab is actually gonna do fairly decent damage, nice. And leap to finish the job. Yep. Single coin is enough. Leap strong. It's 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 one of those skill twos that does a lot of damage pretty consistently, and also is too fragile on top of that. But yeah, pretty good. Yisong, you want another in jam? You can have it, buddy. We'll take the brace, or we'll, not the brace, we'll take the, uh, job within a flask. A little bit more lost resources. That's kind of the important part from it. And we keep on going. Hmm. Okay, Rose Spanner. We here, so you have not drawn any of your three in jams this turn. What are you doing? Would have been great, but that's fine. Slash it is. 
Ash slinging slasher. Okay. Oh, you did. All right, and jam isn't the pierce one, and stops. But that is the pierce one. Never mind what I was saying about Yi Sung. Then mix something up mentally. I get the fragile on this guy. Okay. Can't wait for someone else to attack that guy this turn. Clueless. Dagger plus him. Nice. And you don't have the charge. You don't have the right. Okay, and now there's just a couple guys left. No, a, a little, a couple hits here and there will finish them all off. No worries. Yeah, and jam this guy. Whoops. And rip this guy. 7 HP for the slash. It's not gonna matter though, yep. 15 damage is double how much it takes to kill. And that guy sure was weak to the pierce attack. We'll take this one. Okay, this is... This is, once again, only benefiting Rodeon. <laughs> okay, th this is a Rodeon-type run. Rodeon's the only person who's got any sort of build-up of poise. Maybe I really will change Ryoshi's identity. We'll see how the next shop's looking. If it's kind of, like, dry and, like, good stuff, then I can go for it. So my priority is getting funny jokes off. So that, that, that will be my goal. Even if it means uh, I don't get to go with the, the best options. I need to focus on the fragile. No matter what, whoever shows up in the shop, we're going to give them more of their fragility. Assuming they've got normal fragile. Which is five people on this team. So it's likely. Unfortunately, un un unfortunately, Ryoshu and Craig are just kind of tagging along for the sake of... We haven't even used Force of the Flames yet. It's because we only have 11 lost. We only have enough lost for 5 uses of it. Partially because I did suddenly one day this run, which does got 3 lost, which is not great for the fact I was trying to stockpile luck. Believe it or not. Who would have thought spending something is bad for stockpiling it? It just doesn't make any sense. Why, why would that be? Okay, it's, it's snakes, though. Not a great boss to rush down since you physically can't one-turn them. We can do some, like, shenanigans, though. I think. I do love some good shenanigans. Uh, we don't have a lot of good options here. We'll force for the flame this part, though, and have everyone else go for their other arm right now. One arm at a time is like a decent enough strategy. What else do we have that's fragile next turn? Most of our fragile is this turn, right? Like, cause yours is next turn, but we can't get it off on Abno's. Uh, yours is current turn. We're using the ego. Yours is current turn. I think yours is next turn, right? But it requires you to crit with your skill threes, third coin. We probably go for this back then, yeah. Gives you a little bit more poise count. Sure. That'll work. We're just gonna gun this one down. The leap will make it so we can do some decent dish damage against this arm. And the force of the flames makes so the other arm's gonna be set up for a beating next turn. Set up for a little bit of a walloping. A walloping. And we got the heads though, so we, we do get the two fragile. If you get tailed, it's only a single fragile. Because of how it works. Ooh. This guy's just like weak to the sloth, so this would have been nice to actually get all four coins off on. Okay, staggered anyways, though. And the contract triggers, so we just break the arm. You get hit, that's fine. Because you are weakened this turn. Fine, sir. Don't have any other fragile attacks to go for, unfortunately.
But we're doing 20% more damage. And that's the important part. We also have, do have a lot of slot skills in this team, which means we can exploit this guy's weaknesses fairly decently. Yep, there we go. Especially when he's staggering and all his physical resistances change to being weak anyways. Yeah. Now we need to kill you though, and we definitely can, looking at, you know, what we've drawn this turn. Like this. Okay. Quick suppression will do a lot of damage and it gets the fragile up really quickly. Oh, it just kills. That makes sense. He did have because those guys do have five fragile suppression in their second phase, like at by default. So he did sure have nine fragility. And no, he sure is weak to Pierce. So it definitely adds up. Okay. That's unfortunate. Means we can go for some really impactful attacks this turn. No reason to set up for next turn because, you know, it's a different body part, so any fragility wouldn't have worked. Your charge looking pretty good, okay. You can go for that then. And we keep on attacking. Like that. And Jam gets the stagger, nice. And. Rip space should just kill. Yep. As expected. There we go. Pretty, like, decently done job. We really did execute the big guy. Kind of went a little overkill on him, given how, you know, our entire team, barring, like, two people, were attacking him. Okay, we can gain some charge count. That'll work well for Dawn. And I guess we could theoretically get a Wrath Resonance going for Heathcliff's passive. It's not the most likely thing because Heathcliff's passive's a little it's a little iffy. It's like the it's like the God, I, I'm so bad at this menu. Yeah, gain one haste and one attack power up if we wrath resonance. We do have three people with wrath skill ones in the team though, so definitely can work. It bugs. These guys sure do bug me. I see why they're called bugs. <laughs> Okay, perfected palm strike should just kill. No, interesting. I guess, I mean, we stagger with someone else. That makes enough sense, yeah. And that guy, I guess, is the one who got staggered and therefore died to the contract. Well, not directly the contract, but indirectly. I mean, still fairly directly if the contract does most of your HP is damage. Yeah. Semantic. So a couple of random rips to go through. Rip to this guy, that's for sure, since he died. Uh, good joke, I know. Thank you, thank you. The counters are still so busted. This isn't an ideal situation to be in, as we're all, like, perfect health. There's, like, one guy, one enemy alive, like, dead, clinging onto life. Okay, and more fights to go there. Two more fights and then we can visit our final shop, see what we'll do. Possibly change Ryoshi's identity up a little bit. We'll see how we're feeling. Mm, you're not in a great spot. You resist sloth though, you'll be fine. Close to your ideal. Yeah, you got this. See, you're fine. I also really should check for, like, scary attacks. Like, this is, isn't a very scary fight. It's not one of, like, the rough K-Corp fights. Because it's, like, it's the class 3 guys you gotta be scared of, because they're the ones who have, uh... 
the funny four, no trespassing, the four coin attack that does a lot of damage on floor five. Does this kill? Nope. He tried. Uh, yeah, no. A for effort. E for effort, I guess? I don't even think that the uh, A for effort is just, you know, you did a good job to get an A. It's not even like a pun, I don't think. Seems me to think after all. Okay. Can you stagger this guy in time? Nope. Cool. Oh well, you will be just one side of them. You're going for what are you going for? You're not even targeting anyone with your one skill. Oh, retreating. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. There you go. Okay, next. Yeah, we'll just, I mean, just straight shot to the ghoul. Boss is either Fox or Centipede. Um, maybe we could one turn Fox. Maybe we could, like, three turn Centipede. I think that's the best you can do against Centipede, though. Centipede's, like, a good, Centipede's actually, like, a really good fit for us, potentially. The Centipede's really good for, like, the setup type stuff. You know? Oh, we, because these guys are low sandy, because they're, you know, they're the revived guys, we actually got a little bit of fragility off within Jam. One fragility, but that is a little bit. By definition. Three HP on you. Okay. Oh, good. There's only one person who's, like, actually still alive. And we'll see how long that lasts for when we hit them with, like, Leap and stuff. Leap's probably oh. just gonna kill them. Yeah, as expected. Here's the weak m moment. I mean, Mirrodon 3 is gonna be so good for Pierce. There's gonna be so many Pierce weak mermaids and such. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Uh, Rodeon, you can get another skill 3. I guess we'll change you to LCCB. Yeah, I don't think it's really necessary. I think I'm going to stick with this. What we've got, actually. After some, you know, thinking. More damage to staggered people could definitely be good for f some funny kills, especially since we do have a lot of sloth. And everyone heal up a little bit. Who actually needs healing? Oh, you guys have taken a couple of damage. All right. Good healing, then. Good, good healing. Yes, You're costing something a little bit scary. You know what is cast it then. Or you could slime shank it. Yeah, that'll work. They do have a little bit of tremor, so it'll work pretty well, really. And the funny ego, so you know, might as well. Yep. Hits four people thanks to, you know, the target being at above half HP. Or above 75% HP, I mean. It would be three people if it was above half, but below 75. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Definitely seems like a pretty good ego, all things considered for just damage dealing. The fact that it's four target is really good. Four target blunt. Blunt, blunt mass attacks help a lot because of how many blunt meat fights there are. It's no, there's no fragility on it, though, which is the biggest downside, of course. I mean, Hong loses gluttony fragility though, but like, there's so few like good gluttony damage dealing skills in the game. All right, what an event to get. I'll take it though. Um, yeah, we're on the What was I even saying though?
There's just so few good gluttony damage healing skills. Like the best is like mutilate, which is still like a single coin skill. Then we've got you got like Heathcliff skill two, Zvigregor skill two. Or I mean like Rabbit Heath skill two, Zvigregor skill two. I guess Swash is a pretty good one, all things considered. I'm gonna hate to have to use it this turn, but you know we'll we'll do it. You do resist slash. We do this this turn, and the next turn we can use your ego. Suppress the body. Sounds good. Fire. Stop stab. Rip. Is this next turn or is it this turn? Two slots for agility this turn. Okay. We could. Uh, let's, let's wait on that. That is an ego I do want to get some benefit from. And you could theoretically crit with that, Rio, Rodion. But yeah, Swash is just really good to, like, you know, three, three slash for agility, pretty good. I forgot it was only three if we didn't flash with anything for a second there. I thought it was still going to be five for gore moment. Probably should have just gone for the, you know, good move. And just force for the flames. We'll be able to do that next turn, though. Come on, crit. Oh, did you actually get it off? No, you didn't. I was like, wait, we got fragile. But no, this was fragile from the contract. You want self charge? Not much we can do about that. Okay, we can double up or slash you though, which is also a really funny idea. I'm really making the most of that slash fragility now of all time. And jam. Does the corrosion do anything funny? Is it just more sloth fragility or less sloth fragility? But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll run with this. Doing a little bit of damage. Even more fragility thanks to the Lee. And Jim cannot inflict fragility, unfortunately. Nineteen HP and Rodion gets the, the the finisher. Unfortunately, he still gains you know one self charge. Thanks to how it works. Um, and you know we're finally forced for the flames. We used the, we this I was building around this ego so heavily and then I used it once. And by that I mean I'm just not going to use it because he's gonna die. I'm not even going to get a chance to use it. We're only going to use it in name alone here. That's right. Are you ready for this? This is going to be awesome, Ra. Look at that. He was so scared of Forest for the Flames. He was so scared of the two fragility that he just decided, like, nah. And, like, egged himself. Truly a ferocious opponent, Ryoshu is. You did the most? Yeah. Damage numbers check out. They really do. Three more levels, though. Nine more boxes. Love to see it. Love to see it. I really think my chances of actually just pulling Heathcliff today are really good. Because, uh... You know, I, I, I can do this. This is, you know, 20 pulls. Um, I can do this. This will be one of the three three stars of this season guaranteed. It's the one and third chance we just get Heathcliff straight up from this. Um, I can always use this if I want to. It does, like, barely anything for me since the chances of getting Heathcliff of all three stars is pretty low. I can use this if I just want to get duplicate. <laughs> this does not help me at all. I'm just stockpiling it. Yeah, a little bit of lunacy. I want to save the lunacy. But, you know, a couple boxes, so... You can always just rely on the boxes. I'm definitely going to open some of them for thread or something. Decent chance I'm going to want it. Why am I going to that menu? I don't know. But anyways, uh... Yeah, fragility is strong. It definitely helps that some of the units that just kind of do stupid amounts of damage also are really good for fragility. M namely, Warp, uh, Dawn, and Rabbit Heathcliff having fragility on them, especially Heathcliff. Yeah, there's some, there's some good stuff here too, that's for sure. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!